If you like sausage in your mouth, come to our sausage soiree. We'll put our sausage right in your mouth. Then you will say, hey, 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 cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. And tonight is a dual episode of Sausage Soiree and Vegging Out. We'll tell you about that in a moment. That's, that's true. But first, Patrick, why don't you yes. tell us about our sausage selection? Our f sausage selection is a Gilbert's Fig and Feta. Fig and Feta. All natural craft sausage. And like many of our others, it is a chicken sausage. That seems to be um, a big thing. A big thing now. Tasted chicken sausages. Mm -hmm. I smell herbs. I do not get much fig. That's probably good from his perspective. To that end, I don't necessarily get a whole lot of feta either, but. I mean, it's tasty, but yeah. Yeah, it is a tasty sausage, but. What do you think, Chris? It's got a good casing for you. Um. No, not a fan. Not a fan? Yeah. I'm not afraid you wouldn't like What is it that you don't like about it? Well, I think I cut it if I'm looking right here. There's a big, I don't know if it's a big feta or big section right there, but I got like a big explosive blob of whatever it was. Mm. And I'm not, um, whatever that taste is, I'm not really down with it. Mm. I'm not down with the sickness. Okay. It's probably feta cheese. Although, I don't know. Yeah, because... I don't really see a whole lot of mm -hmm. chunk of fig no. through the whole sausage. It looks yeah. It looks much more like they've finely diced any fig that was in it. I mean, there's some. Not a considerable amount. Mm -mm. Chris is like, I'm done. I want to move on to the next thing. Yeah, what is the next thing? <laughs> well, if you didn't like fig and feta sausage, um, so tonight's purple carrot selection is Mediterranean flatbreads with apricot and cashew cheese. So, but on your fork, you don't, you don't have half the ingredients. I know. I'm going to start off with a small portion of ingredients to see if I like that, because this is smothered over everything. This... The, the whatever that's the toppings mm. so you you um the stuff that you that you are uh, commenting on is mm. a hummus varietal made with chickpeas I'm, lemon juice don't think you should have told him that i mean i like the oh no you did like, like chickpeas. Did you I do like chickpeas, chickpeas so yes. maybe, maybe. So maybe this will be okay. Yeah. Yes. A little yeah. salt, a little pepper. Okay. So all of those things are things that you enjoy. Okay. Garlic. There's some garlic in it too. Mm -hmm. Which okay. you are usually. Are you ready, Patrick? Right? Uh huh. Oh, that is tasty. Oh, I would totally eat this for them. I was going to say, yeah, because you're eating I'm it. I'm right literally now. eating it right now. Okay, let's look at his face. It's not quite as bad as when we've gone to um, liquor tastings. Well, the big part is that the flatbread is just like a whole grain flatbread. Mm -hmm. So it's not made out of cauliflower. There's no cauliflower mm. in this dish at all. No. Yeah. Um, Yeah. No. <laughs> so let me tell you, for those of you following at home, how it's put together. So it is, as Patrick said, you've got these ancient grains flatbreads. You get all the ingredients to essentially make your own hummus with oregano, garlic, lemon juice, and chickpeas. That is what you smear on the flatbread rather than a tomato sauce. On top of that, you have your sautéed Swiss chard, rainbow Swiss chard, 
sprinkled with um, dried, cut up tiny apricots, um, which I learned a value. I learned an interesting lesson about the two types of dried apricots today. When it comes to dried apricots, there are two types: sulfured and unsulfured. So when you see the ones that look real yellow and still almost like an apricot, but just dry, those are sulfured. And if they are smaller and brown, they are unsulfured. These are the unsulfured variety. Um, also on top, you dollop cashew cheese. Try the cashew cheese. That's the, the mm -hmm. white globs. Well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. That is a um, product that I think Pam would enjoy. It is very much like, um, it's very pasty like ricotta. Mmm. It is. You're right. So, that's the Mediterranean flatbread. And, of course, I thought the fig and feta chicken sausage was absolutely the right sausage to have with this. Unfortunately, we're betting zero at the opposite end of the table. Um... Nutrition wise, this one is 680 calories, so it's not in the lowest category, but it's not bad. 21 grams of fat, 95 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. Oh, I, I absolutely love it. I, I would totally eat this again. Yes. I wasn't entirely sure as you make it, because before you put all the pieces together, the the aromatics of it are kind of questionable. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> that is um, a distinct garlic taste that you get from the raw, unprocessed garlic mm -hmm. yeah. um, incorporated into the chickpeas, but. It's very garlic forward, which is probably the only part that I enjoy. You used a lot of garlic in a two pepper, which is I mean, fine with me. I only used two cloves, like it told me to do, mm -hmm. so. Yes, I enlisted my I think it's fun. my helper who cut up everything in a very good manner. His knife cuts are much better than mine. Ann Burrell would be very proud of you. Okay. So I give it I give both of them two thumbs up. What about you, Patrick? Um I enjoy both of them um separately, but for a real adventure, you could put mm -hmm. some of this sausage on top of mm -hmm. this. Um, the only other thing I think uh, typically happens when you're making something, and certainly when we're presenting it, I think it would be better warmer. Um, it is tasty and delicious just the way that it is, um, but it might be a little... Our timing is... Our timing is terrible. Yeah. Um, and it also might be good with some cucumber. Oh, like tzatziki type stuff. Right, like if you did a you cucumber, tomato, onion. You can actually make a onion. tzatziki base instead of a hummus base. Yeah, and put there's a lot of there. There's a lot of things that you could do that would, would approximate this. And you could use, if you were not trying to be vegan, you could use feta on the top of this. I think that would be. Just, I, I'm a big fan of the. the I'm cashew fine cheese, with the so. cashew cheese, and we, we got to get Pamela to try it because this is something that would be right up her alley. I'm, I'm sorry you didn't like it. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. We will. We will feed Chris after this is over. That's true. He we will not starve. He will not starve. No, no, Chris's were starved in the making of this video. <laughs> they, I mean, they can't all be. They can't all be. That's true. Sausage to you. Sausage to you. Veg out.